All right, everybody, good morning. <clears throat> You're going to feed your llamas. Oh, by the way, it's March 1st. You're going to feed your llamas. I highly suggest this brand of llama food. It's a llama alpaca maintenance, okay? Um, it's good fiber for their, their guts, okay? So zoos use it. This, this has a chart of everything that's inside of it. 50-pound <clears throat> bag. In the wintertime, three llamas, a 50-pound bag lasts about a week. So it runs about 20... It's in the 20s. I don't know. I could say anything from $21 to $27. I don't remember how much it is, but... <clears throat> In each dish, you only put about this much. Um, it's not a main food source. It's a supplemental food source. It's a maintenance. So it gives them stuff that they need, but they don't. It can also give get, make them gain too much weight too fast. So you have to do it in, in increments. And it's a learning curve. So you won't know exactly what you're doing at first. Trust me, I went through that. So I just wanted to introduce the llama food to you all if you don't know um <clears throat> uh that people say that you can feed them sweet corn and stuff like that uh, i don't suggest it um if you give them sweet feed it's got molasses in it molasses is very hard for llamas to digest uh they love it tastes great they'll eat the crap out of it but here's the problem is then it gums up their belly and then they can't the it balls up in their belly because of the molasses and it won't digest. It becomes like a fer fermented hard ball. So, <clears throat> um, if your food works for you or not, you can tell by their poop. You really need to pay attention to poop. I, I know everything seems to go to that conversation, <laughs> but it's the truth. Poop tells them a lot. It tells you a lot. It tells you how their digestion systems are. It tells you if they are sick. Um, like when I had Timmy and he had the meningeal worm, as he got sicker, his poop got longer and skinnier. So it looked like really long milk duds that somebody had sucked on and they just, like like Tootsie Rolls, okay? Look kind of like that. That's not how they're supposed to look. They're supposed to look like little beans. <clears throat> so there's a lot you can tell by poop. I hear my girls jingling for me in there in the bowls saying, come feed me. So I'm going to do that. You guys have a good day. That was your first lesson on llama food. <laughs>